Thank you. Uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Connor White. Um, I'm the president of, Amer of Dayon's America's business, um, and it's a pleasure to be here today. Uh, Dayon is a software company, privately held. We're headquartered just down the street in uh, Reston, Virginia. Um, and what, what we do is we enable trust online, and we do that by authenticating factors that are uniquely you, sometimes called biometrics. Okay. So before I get into my demonstration, I just want to, um, I'm not allowed to present slides, so I brought some paper. Okay. Um, these are extracts from the annual reports of two of our customers who I'm going to talk about today. I'm going to focus more on our customer experience than on the product, because you'll see the product as I talk about the customer experience. These are annual reports. They're public documents. They're the most coveted document that a, a company generally issues to its shareholders. And in both cases last year, these companies talked about their programs in biometrics and how cool it is and how it's share shifting for them and the industry. And we are really, really proud to be part of those programs. So with that, I'll, start, I'll show you what we're talking about. So, so you've seen some demos this morning. You're going to see some demos um, all through the next day or so. I'm going to do something kind of crazy, and I should, you should never do this. Stand up in front of 1,600 people and actually log into my bank account. OK? So um, I'm going to start with USAA. USAA is uh, a very innovative company. They're, um, I think most people would know USAA. Uh, they're a top 20 bank in the United States uh, with a global, uh, users globally. They have, their satisfaction scores or, ne or net promoter scores are higher than Apple's. And if you saw the iPhone 7 release yesterday, you would have seen that the, um, with, the, with the microphone jack going away, I think that gap in satisfaction scores has gone even higher. So with no further ado, I'm going to log into my account. There we go. So you can see it, was, it, took, it takes about three seconds. Um, this is real. This is not a demo on a, on a stage server somewhere. This is going to USA's data center, and I just authenticated my bank account. You can see how poor I am. Okay. <laughs> so it's, it's kind of cool. They, their users range from millennials to people 90 plus years of age. Okay, and they have um, f when, when they deploy this program, there are nearly four, sorry, two million people, and growing rapidly, um, and and people love it because it's easy. You know, if you're 90 years of age, you just smiling into the camera is easy. Entering a complex pin is very very difficult. Okay, um, I, I can also use my voice to authenticate. So I'm going to log out. My identity is secure because my voice is my passport. Verify me. So I can authenticate with face, voice, finger. I have choice. And happy customers are customers who get to make their own choices. It's pretty cool. Um, so what I'd like to do then is switch to uh, next to MasterCard. Uh, MasterCard, as you're aware, are a, a a global brand, a $110 billion company, they are doing a tremendous amount of innovation around making it easy to pay online. Okay? I'm going to show you one of those innovations. I'm simply going to, I'm going to go shopping. Again, this is, their, this is their demo. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go and I'm going to buy, let's see, we go. Actually, my son broke this recently, so I do actually need a new portable wireless speaker. So I'll buy that. Okay? So if I was a hacker somewhere trying to log into my account and make purchases, I would get a push notification to my phone. But this is legitimate, so it's opened up my MasterCard wallet, um, and I'm able to pay right now. Okay, so I'm verifying the transaction. It's pretty simple. Done. What did I do? I launched the app. I, I was me, not a pin or a password. I authenticated, and the purchase is secure. What didn't I do? I didn't have to go get my wallet, find my card, type in 16 numbers, type in the date, get any of them wrong, look at the CVV on the back, type all that in, my shipping address, make sure it's my billing address, you know, all that stuff I didn't have to do. So easy, yet secure. They're rolling this out as a cloud service uh, later this year, a global cloud service, um, and it's available to issuers who want to participate. So MasterCard are in the room today. If you'd like to actually be part of, of this, we're very proud to be part of this. If you'd like to be part of it and think your bank might be interested, then please come see us, and we'll put you in contact with the right people at MasterCard. 
So, a couple of other things. So, that's the end of the demos. Now you have to listen to me. <laughs> I'm the eye candy. Um, so, a couple. <laughs> a couple of things that I think people should be aware of, right? So the, the uptake of this is, is fantastic. If you, if you think about, even with MasterCard, one third of all shopping carts are abandoned online today. How many people have just got, oh, it's hard, I don't, I don't remember my password, I can't find my, my, my credit card, or there's something wrong, so they just give it up, right? And they, go, they abandon it. Last year, I think it was the Javelin Report said that there was $9 billion in card fraud, that's a problem, and there was $118 billion in lost revenue because transactions were just abandoned or declined, falsely declined. So do we have a security problem or do we have a convenience problem? The convenience number is 13 times the security number, right? They're both real numbers. We actually have a problem of both, security and convenience, okay? And that's what we're trying to do here. That's what we're doing, we're making it secure. And I've always, as a, as a security professional, always been told you can be secure or you can be convenient, you can't be both. Well, now you can be both, you can be secure and your customers will be happy. And the way you do that is with a, with a platform, a platform that allows you to innovate as you authenticate your customers, allows you to plug in the latest and greatest innovations at all times, okay? That's what we provide. That's what MasterCard seeks, that's what USAA seeks, that's what our, our other customers on five continents seek today. So we can give you that. You know, you saw me de demonstrate face and voice, and I can demonstrate finger. Um, when the heartbeat comes out on the phone, we'll integrate that. Uh, I verify, do uh, I print ID, they're here today as well. We've integrated them. So it's all available today. Final thought. Today, most of our cybersecurity issues are because we authenticate things. Passwords is a thing, right? A token is a thing. We don't authenticate people. It's time to authenticate the person and authenticate them in a way that's uniquely them. Biometrics, uniquely you. Thank you very much.